What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I know I said in my previous video that the next video was going to be a pike video and, uh, and unfortunately I am so bummed to say it's not going to be. As I was going back through the footage for that video, hold on, I feel like you guys are at a super weird angle. I guess that's better for now. I feel like I'm like hunched over looking at you guys, but I don't have, wait, hold on, I do have my tripod. I'll be right back. All right, that looks a lot better. Where was I? Pike video is not going to happen. Oh yeah, I was going back through the footage and all of it either so basically i had my gopro on and then on the outside i had a jacket on and in a lot of the footage the jacket i had unzipped but it would fall back forward obviously and a lot of it was blocking a bunch of the camera um so a lot of the footage sucks um to put it frankly we had a really windy windy day it was like we had 60 degree days leading up to it then we had that one day it was like like 30 and was super windy and of course we picked that one day to go fishing <clears throat> so unfortunately a lot of the footage just sucks so uh, I, i'm not even really gonna bother posting it i was gonna use this picture as the thumbnail it's my buddy catching the really big pike that he uh ended up grabbing while we were out um so again i'm really bummed i'm not gonna be able to put that up because basically my jacket was covering all the footage but one piece of the footage that looks sick um and i'll put a little clip right here somewhere um either in the corner or i'll just cut to it in a second um is when i got to his trap and because i had seen the flag first and so i got over to it and i recorded the spool going i i say it in the video and i'm sure i'll play that part it is literally the fastest i've ever seen a spool move on on any ice fishing adventure for any fish it doesn't matter holy fuck ricky she is that's the fastest i've ever seen a trap run it is fucking screaming I might have to grab it, it's not gonna spool you. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. You can probably hear it when you get close. Oh, it's gonna spool you. Oh, that's a big fucking miss. So yeah, long story short, I will not be posting that video for those couple of reasons I mentioned. I just don't think overall, it will be a very good video. So what's the point? Um, but I ran into Walmart. And they finally stocked in my Walmart these Carl's Bait and Tackle bass fishing kits. Up until, I think, January, they didn't have any. And then they started putting in the panfish kits, which I did a video. I did a video on one of those pan fishing kits when I got one. But that was actually in North Conway, New Hampshire. Um, but shortly after that, they started stocking them in my local Walmart. Uh, but they finally started stocking the bass boxes. So I figured while we waited for the April Elite box to come in, uh, kind of a time filler between... Uh, the last ice fishing video and the next unboxing video or open water video. Um, at this point, it's probably going to the next video beyond this will be the April unboxing video. But I've actually started scouting some open water spots. Most don't open till April anyway, legally. Um, but I started checking the few that are open year round or open up early. Uh, and the water level, and most of them are rivers, so the water level is still wicked high. We had a really big rainstorm come in the last couple days. Um, so I, I, right now, it, it doesn't look super good, but I'm hoping within the next at least week i'll be able to go out and record an open water video for you guys but without further ado i've talked for way too long you guys don't care about any of that you guys care about what's in this um if anybody's curious and you're you've got a couple of these boxes or you're going to pick one up at your walmart i have box number 100 just in case anybody wants some reference um for that so i'm gonna without further ado i feel like i've taken up way too much of you guys' time i'm gonna open this bad boy up and see what we've got you get five to six baits and they value around 25 bucks. I paid 17 and change for it, like 17 50 or something like that. So you're getting a little bit of value out of it and you get to try some new baits. Ooh, right off the bat, I'm loving it. We've got a chartreuse and white, uh, pearl white, Guggen Squad Grass Hero uh, swim jig. Got the four, uh, what size is it? A three eighths ounce, that is my ideal size for any jig. Uh, I don't usually throw swim jigs a lot. My go-to moving bait for, especially in the jig style, is a spinner bait. Um, but I think, especially this year, I'm going to start throwing some swim jigs around. It's ideally the same presentation, except you don't have that big, robust presentation that a spinner bait has. It's a little, it's a lot more subtle than a spinner bait. So if you're looking to target some, maybe some pressured grass, especially on a, if you're looking to target some more pressured bass, um, like it, I mean, obviously it's called the Grass Hero. If you're targeting some grass lines or anything like that. I think a swim jig, obviously, with that more subtle presentation, is a lot more better. It's a lot better than a spinner bait. Oh my god, we've got another bull shad, um, which I've said before in my videos, and I think in a TikTok, 
uh, that I posted. I will never spend the full amount of money on a bullshed, but I have no problem going and spending the money on these kits and I keep getting the bullsheds on them. I love them. I love the way they look in the water. I just don't have very good luck with them. It, they look awesome. I love the story behind the, the bait. I think they work really good for my water because I usually fish pretty shallow, rocky creeks at anywhere from like three to six feet. So I really like that slow sinking. I'm not like fishing a bunch of water, so I don't need something that sinks super fast, like a big crankbait or something. But the one bite I've ever gotten on a bull shad was a massive pike. And I told this story before, but basically it bit through the entire thing. It, it was big enough. I watched all this happen. I was in the kayak when it happened. It bit all the way through my swim bait, got to my knot and bit me off. I didn't even get a chance to set the hook and it turned and was gone. So hopefully 2021 is a better year for the bullshed because now I've got at least three of them. Um, so here's hoping anyway. I feel like this is kind of a sin for me as, as a Northern angler, but we've got some uh, Northland fishing tube, tube baits. Uh, let me show you there. They're like that chartreuse color and they've got the red, almost like a really bright bluegill pattern with the stripes. But this is another one of those baits similar to like a drop shot, especially in Northern waters that I have never fished. I've never fished a tube. I've never fished a drop shot, especially for deeper fish that are kind of a little troublesome to catch. I feel like a tube is a lot of people's go-to bait. Um, so I feel like as, as someone who's lived in Maine and fished in Maine all my life, I feel like saying that I've never fished a tube is like a sin and I'm going to be cast aside. Like the drop shot. Oh, hello. Like the drop shot, uh, this is going to be a learning curve for me. I, I, I imagine there's not a high learning curve, but I, like I said, I've never fished them before. So it's going to be something that I got to adjust to and get used to fishing. Looks like we got two more. We got some stickies EWG hooks, which are just perfect. I will never complain about EWG hooks. Looks like we got some a three. I'm not even gonna open them up. I mean, you got a three pack of three aught hooks. It's about like I, I've said before on the channel. That's my go-to senko size. There's not much to say about an EWG hook, so there's not much I'm going to say. They're my go-to hook, especially for the senko size, and even for some micro creature baits, I'll use a three aught. Um, but I use them all the time, and those will absolutely get used. And last, we've got a Lunker Hunt finesse bait. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't, I guess, it doesn't have a name because it just says Lunker Hunt finesse baits. Um, unless they only make one finesse bait, which could be true. I feel like Lunker Hunt doesn't make a bunch of finesse stuff. So I, it looks like it. Oh, you want to see it? What's that? Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Um, but size wise, it looks like a good drop shot bait, but it's also got the paddle tail on the back. Like I said, just a minute ago, and I've said before on the channel, I've never thrown a drop shot. Um, so I don't, I, from what I know, I don't know that a big paddle tail like that would be super ideal for a drop shot, but I could just cut off, uh, cut off the back and just use that little, almost like the, um, 10,000 fish. What is it called? The shimmer shad, I think is their, is their drop shot style bait. It just kind of comes to a really thin end. Um, so I honestly could probably just cut off a paddle tail and use it like that. Um, I could put this on a smaller spinner bait. I like using the paddle tail swim baits as spinner bait uh, trailers. Uh, but also they've got the flat head here, so you could use them as a, as a Ned Rig bait as well. Um, I'm curious if, they, if they'll stand like a Ned Rig. Um, they don't, it doesn't look like they have a bunch of ideas for you on the back, but they do link to their website, and it says on their website they've got uh, species that the, you can target with these baits, photos and videos, rigging tips, and other information for the product. But yeah, I mean, at first glance, I see three really popular ways to use this bait as a Ned bait, as a drop shot bait, and as a trailer for like a spinner bait or, a th or something like that. Or honestly, you know what? It would look really good. And they might've put these together to pair it, but I bet that would look really good on the back of that swim jig. It might be a little small for that four out hook, but ideally, I bet that's that. I bet that would be a pretty good pairing. It might be a little small for a spinner bait, but for something like a, a uh, swim jig, I bet that would look pretty good together. So that's everything in the box. Um, pretty short video today. Regardless, this was just kind of a an impromptu run to the store because I wanted to spend money, and because I was going for something else, and I can't help myself. And I, I always, I mean. Like anybody who fishes a bunch, I, all, I even if I'm not a mayor, I could be there for anything. I could be at Walmart for anything, anything at all. And I will go to the fishing section and I will spend money. Um, anyway, I'm rattling again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next video, like I said, I think will probably be the April unboxing. Um, but I'm really hoping it starts with some open water content soon. I hope you guys enjoy. I will see you in the next video, whatever that video is. <laughs> see ya.